You know, I think I've always wanted to be Winifred Sanderson. Her hot temper is the one I relate to the most. But then again, I do have a bit of Sarah in me as well. Twist the bones and then the back. Use my voice, Sarah! Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you're all doing well during this festive season where we celebrate all things spooky. I got requested to react to the 1993 movie Hocus Pocus. Of course I haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Of course I've seen it. I have definitely seen this. I mean, come on, how could I not? I've mentioned this so many times throughout my videos. This was my childhood movie growing up. I love it like the way I love my parents. Not only is it the Halloween movie, but it's also one of the funniest movies I've ever watched. Of course we're going to be doing a reaction to this classic movie. I honestly think it's Bette Midler's best role. There is just way too much fun in this movie. Too much fun. This movie started my stereotype witch phase that I had back then. It was the best witch movie of all time. So of course I was going to include it in our final Halloween movie for our special spooky season. So let's do this. Thank you for the request and as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this party started. We Hocus Pocus. This is the logo I remember as a kid. I used to love that one. They've changed it a fair few times since the 90s. Oh, by the way, it's probably been about easily 15 years since I've seen this movie last. And there she is, ready to take a child. It's so evil. Emily? Emily? I used to have the biggest hots for Thackeray Binks. I don't know what it was, but he really did it for me back then. To think, I was like, how old? It's probably easily under 10 years of age. But look, they conjure. Oh God, the woods! They conjure. <laughs> Careful, Thackeray. You don't want to ruin that pretty little face of yours. Gotta love how they all move simultaneously like that. <laughs> It's like, yes, we get it, you're evil. <laughs> I say this line almost every day, I kid you not. Ready, ready, ready? Oh, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Best line ever. Wake up, darling. Oh, come on, darling. There you are. <laughs> I always used to think that book was the most amazing thing ever as a kid. You know, just seeing an eyeball like that on a book. I don't know why. <laughs> they are such sucker aren't they? <laughs> Her little minions. Dead man's toe and make him a fresh one. Dead man's toe. 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 <laughs> the secret ingredient for eternal youth. Well, you just stop that. I need to concentrate. Please, to concentrate. Yeah, I gotta concentrate on how to put this toe in there. Yeah, don't forget the spits. You gotta have the spits in there, for God's sakes. Like, come on. Anything else you wanna put in there? Maybe you can include your own in there as well. No! Oh boy. <laughs> Sarah? <gasps> oh boy. Trust her to say that. Makes me wonder why the other sisters don't have the same sorts of powers as Winnie. Is there a particular reason why? Again, great simultaneous movements. I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I swear, whoever came up with that is a genius. I'm telling you, she's my spirit animal. The level of infatuation she has with boys is just, yeah. But I shall be a spirit forever once I suck the life of all the children in Salem. God, if only it was that easy. <gasps> Let's suck the lives of all the children. I want to hug and let me play with him. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I swear. Hats down to Disney for making such a promiscuous character. <laughs> I mean, for its time, 
and especially the fact that it's a kids movie as well. I feel like this is a little bit groundbreaking, hey? Twist the bones and then the back. I've lost track in all honesty how many times I impersonate these three witches. I'm practically impersonating them all the time with my family. We are the three kindly old sticks, ladies! Yeah, completely innocent. <laughs> She's all pretty, but no brain in there, hey? That's got my tongue! <laughs> <laughs> so evil. Sisters, sing! Uh... I'll listen to you guys any day. I don't care if you put a spell on me. A virgin summons a mind of the ground! <laughs> I always did wonder why a virgin needed to light up the candle. Can someone please tell me this? Oh, I bet. She's so theatrical, isn't she? Love it. Her performance here is just so good. Love it. Granted that uh, you guys here in Salem are all into these uh, black cats and witches and stuff. <gasps> oh boy. Hot boy number two, Mr. Omri Katz. Another one that I had the hots for. In case Jimi Hendrix shows up tonight, here's my number. <laughs> the nerve you have to do that in front of the whole class. Go you, Omri. Only because you're a babe. You don't believe in it? The Samson sisters? No way. Gotta love the 90s vibes. Love it. <laughs> Check out you. God, I don't know whether to take that as an insult or what. Like, what does that leave you with, hey? Just moved here. From where? Los Angeles. LA. Oh, dude! These guys used to piss me off so much as a kid. I could not deal with these two characters. I wonder if my thoughts on them will change now that I'm a little bit older. When you ain't Ernie no more, it's ice. This is ice! Yeah, no, it hasn't. Thank you, come again. We don't get any smokes from you. We don't get any cash. What am I supposed to do with my afternoon? Try getting a new brain. Maybe you could learn to breathe through your nose. <laughs> yeah, or that. <laughs> Check out the new cross trainers. Cool. Let me try them on. <clears throat> oh, f off. Honestly. <laughs> Dumb. Oh, Allison. You're so soft. See, now that's exactly how I used to daydream about this boy when I was young. Oh, Amory. You're so soft. I just wanna. I'm Allison. Kiss me, I'm Allison! <laughs> yeah, something like that. Good on you, darling. We used to have so much fun together trick-or-treating. It'll be like old times. And the old days are dead. That's some serious teenage hormones right there. <laughs> and that's how you win a bet. <laughs> if all else fails, scream. I think the other thing that this movie does so well is capture the spirit of Halloween so well. The movie constantly shows kids running around everywhere in their costumes and, you know, doing trick-or-treating throughout the entire movie, which is absolutely great to see. Like, it, it just really captures that, you know, love that I have for Halloween. I've got my big brother with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talk about embarrassing. Isn't it bad enough they stole your runners before? But what are you supposed to be? A new kid on the block? <laughs> Jerks. Everybody pays the toll. Stop it, zip face. Are you little? Hey! <laughs> you tell him, honey. <laughs> Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Jackpot! No worries, just help yourselves. I think that was the other thing that I liked about this movie, how they were just hopping from house to house. And just really made it fun. I'm just taking my little sister candy right. That's nice. I always do it. My parents made him. Yeah, including you, sweetie. You made him do it as well. I don't have any. What do you call them, Max? Yabos? <laughs> Is that what they called them back then? <laughs> Max likes some yabos. In fact, he loves them. <laughs> Disney, what were you thinking? <laughs> Next year we go trick-or-treating as Wendy and Peter Pan with tights or it's no deal. Okay, okay, deal, deal. Oof, that's a tough call, hey? Go in tights or it's a no deal? <laughs> I'll do it. I'm happy to go in anything in tights. <laughs> I used to love this house as a kid. I so wanted to be in here. Max, no! Uh -oh. 
Too late. You've been warned. What an entrance. Love it. After 300 years, the b**** are back. I love you, Just where I left it. Honey, why would you keep that bloody thing? Like, seriously. <laughs> Shishka baby. <laughs> Shishka baby. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> when you're dead. <laughs> I always found it interesting how the black flame candle only brought them back for just the one night. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you wonder what kind of a bargain they strike with the devil for their gifts. <laughs> Gotta love how Sarah's still like, no, let me play with him, please, let me play with him. Yeah, you'll get your turn, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, far more cooler than any of the other one's powers. Who wouldn't want her power? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, hello. <laughs> Gotta love the intelligence of these sisters. Summon the burning rain of death. <laughs> God, how thick do you have to be to not realize that he's full of <laughs> 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 The burning rain of death. When have you ever heard? <laughs> I mean, look, I know it's been 300 years, but come on, seriously. It is but water. Most refreshing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, very refreshing. Maybe it'll knock some sense into you too. I love you, Mary. A black river. Perhaps it is not too deep. A black river. <laughs> yes, it will kill you. Oh, poor Sarah. They would sacrifice her first, hey? That's okay, Sarah. I would never sacrifice you. My book! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The amount of times I do this walk with my own family members is like I've lost track. <laughs> Pure classic. It never gets old. <laughs> yeah, tell me you're evil without telling me you're evil. Oh, they are just too much fun. I love them. I love all three of these women. So she poisoned him and sewed his mouth shut with a dull needle. Wonder if it always was the jealous type. Also, hats down to the visual effects department in this movie. Um, I thought they did a great job with Thackeray Binks as the cat. For its time, I think it was quite groundbreaking, really, because that cat looks absolutely real. There was never an ounce of him in any shot where I thought he didn't look real. Hold me, what a pretty spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I forgot she eats the spiders. <laughs> Damn, honey, you keep the rats, you can eat the spiders. <laughs> Is there anything you don't do? Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I love how she just abuses her little minions like this. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. She's the abusing type. When the sun comes up, let's dust. 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 Say it like you mean it, bit. Therefore, it tends to be <laughs> Mmm, delicious. How was that for you, honey? Was it delicious? It sounded very juicy. Gotta love how they have a short attention span as well. Find the book, brew the potion, and suck the lives of all the children in Satan before sunrise. It's one of the most quotable movies, I reckon. Along with main girls. Oh, Sarah. Love you to bits and pieces. I really do. It's okay. I get it. Your mind's on one thing. Spiders and boys. Not a bad little combo. The witches flying throughout the movie also looked very seamless as well. They did a great job of blending them. Again, for its time, I thought they did such a great job with the visual effects department and the special effects. I used to watch the behind the scenes footages of this movie and it was always great seeing the actual actors performing their own stunts and everything on the broomsticks. Hats down to them. It just makes it all the more believable when they're the ones that actually do their own stunts. I really love their costumes as well. 
They are just so iconic. I love how they're color coded as well. Green, purple, and red. I also really liked Dog Jones. He was great over here as well. I more so know Dog Jones from other movies as well, but this was obviously the first movie that I ever saw of him. But the ones that are a big highlight for me is him in Hellboy as Ape Sapien. Yeah, I used to love him in that. But yeah, he's always had that physicality for these sorts of roles. And get my book, then come find us. We'll be ready for them. I love how Mary's just always laughing in the background. <laughs> She's got her own little laugh that she does. <laughs> They're just acting like idiots in the background while Winnie is a serious one. Sarah! Sarah! Yeah, honey, listen, it doesn't matter how many times you say it to them, it's not going to register in their heads. Tell me, friend, what is this contraption? I call it a bus. You snatch children with it. We desire children. <laughs> you know, to a degree, I feel like this movie would never be done nowadays. <laughs> I used to be so devastated as a kid when he got ran over by a bus like that. Thinking, no, not the kitty. I smell children. Marvellous. Sniff them out, Mary. Oh, believe me, the woods. Party pooper. Yeah, they don't have that time, man. Farewell, mortal bus boy. Yeah, I'll come back and have fun with you later, mortal bus boy. Bless you. <laughs> That's like the holy water for them, isn't it? <laughs> I've seen you for century. But what the heck? Why don't you come in? <laughs> God, I swear, how thick do you have to get, honestly? Yeah, it's him. It's definitely him. He lives in the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, she's me. <laughs> That's something that I would do. <laughs> Rotten kids. Officer, this is not a prank. Get out. Come on, Danny. Take that cat Look, kids, I know you're desperate, but like, come on, seriously. What did you think a policeman would do to think he's not even a policeman? Why should it meet the little woman? He has a little woman. Sounds tasty. <laughs> Sounds tasty. Trust Mary to say that. <laughs> Sisters, Say it's Mary Medusa. See the snakes, <laughs> Yeah, it's Medusa. Definitely. As if you guys knew about Medusa. Isn't that more like ancient Greece mythology? Are you boys a little old to be trick-or-treating? We'll be younger in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's called Botox and Fillers. You guys gotta replace the kids with those, man. I'm telling ya. It works wonders. Master, would thou dance with me? <laughs> would thou dance with me? It's true, hilarious man. Oh, Sarah, you'll get your hands on any boy, won't you? <laughs> Kathy Najmi kills me. She's amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's stealing your man, sweetie. <laughs> Do something about it. <laughs> God, if only. <laughs> they call me master. Wait, you see what I'm gonna call you now? You shouldn't disrespect the devil like that, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sarah, you will always be a punching bag for me. Always. It's gotta be one of the most iconic things ever. I always used to love how this movie showed the kids trick-or-treating and everything and then the adults had their own party over here. I thought it was just so much fun, you know, where we got to see all sides of, you know, Halloween night and everything. Yeah, I, I thought it did a great job of, like, really capturing the spirit of Halloween. What are you supposed to be? Madonna. Oh, great costume. Love it. Her facial reactions are priceless. Absolutely love it. Didn't even occur to me that they had to cover her eyebrows as well in the movie. Yeah, yeah Sarah's too busy, man. Leave her alone. Scouting for her next boy. <laughs> Did you find me? Find me. Memory of a fish, this one. I 
I put a spell on you. And so now you're, you're my classic iconic Halloween song. Sing it for me, girl. And now you're mine. Trust Bed Midler to sing it like a pro. Go, Winnie. Bravo, bravo. Beautifully put. Now sing it again. You freaks of children. It is a prison for children. Close. It's actually a school. <laughs> that walk never gets old. <laughs> Off my shoe. Oh, true? I just realized that. Because it was Matt's shoe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> just plants her face in the shoe. Why was I cursed with such idiot sister? That's lucky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Winnie. I really do. How come it's always the ugly chicks that stay out late? Chicks. Oh, now you've done it. Shouldn't have said that, man. Sorry, we think you're really cute. Oh, look, you got your wish, Sarah. <laughs> Hang him on a hook and let me play with him. You bet you were here, Sarah. You were in the back dancing idiotically. Dancing idiotically. Yeah, you can't forget that bit. <laughs> and a dead man's nose. Dead man's nose! She's trying to concentrate. No. Congratulations, Sarah. That's like the smartest thing you said throughout the whole movie. There's no such thing as challenge. You're right. Yeah, you girls don't get many things right, do you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God, she kills me. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> the epitome of what their relationship is all about. <laughs> God, not even that would cheer her up. I feel the icy breath of death upon my neck. Oh. Such a drama queen. <laughs> Goodbye to life of my birthday. Goodbye. The similarities that we have, I tell you, it's uncanny. I used to get the biggest kick out of seeing them fly like this with their new sets of broomsticks. <laughs> sure, honey, why not? You can have the mop. <laughs> Oh, hers is the best, no doubt. And that's how you do it, girls. Mom? Dad? I always used to watch this movie on VHS, but it wasn't until I actually watched it on Blu-ray, maybe about 10, 15 years ago, that I realized she was actually cutting it with her nails. <laughs> oh, I swear. I swear I was a bright kid. <laughs> Boy down. <laughs> Sarah, boy down. <laughs> boy down. <laughs> that is such a cool special effects shot. I think it's like a combination of visual effects and animatronics as well combined. Love it. I also love how the movie kind of transitions from like this comedy aspect to now more of a serious tone as well. It's like, yeah, the witches are a threat now. Yeah, I always appreciated how they managed to balance out the comedy and the serious aspect to it. You Use my voice, Sarah! Fill the sky! Bring the little brats to die! Another great line. Thank you, Bet. I mean, she is quite alluring when she looks like that as well. I'll get hypnotized for you, darling. Open up! No more can and breathe! Yes, I have to make you fat so I can eat you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how thick could you get, man? Like, honestly, can you not tell the difference between the sun and the car light? <laughs> now I'm actually wondering do they actually look alike? Maybe you too. Get off me, you fucking <laughs> I know, when are you not gonna fall for it, man, honestly? I want to get that little rat faced kid that called me ugly. <laughs> Amazing how they have the world's amount of children and yet she still picks the other one. It's like, girl, you don't have any freaking time. You might as well pick any child at this stage, right? Yeah. I really <laughs> See, that was the other thing that I didn't quite understand. Do they have to suck the lives of all the children in Salem? Or like, will one do? 
for the time being, you know, just so they can spare themselves from dying. I need questions answered here. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what happens when you call her ugly. <laughs> Great makeup effects. Love it. He looks amazing here. <laughs> Poor Billy. He always gets screwed around with his head, doesn't he? Yeah, it doesn't matter how many kids I've got already lined up, I'm gonna go for you first. Oh, the sheer knowledge on these witches, I swear. They have no choice! You have to take me. Aw, Max. You're such a noble brother. You're too cute to die. <laughs> Sarah again. <gasps> Boy. That never gets old. You're not even sharing it with your sisters. What the hell? Amazing how she can lift him up like that, hey? That's some strength you have, darling. Oh, such a cool transition shot. Love it. Great visuals. Bye bye. You'll be missed. You really will. You guys were the best. Ah, uh, you guys tried, honestly. Failed miserably, but that's okay. The key part here is that you tried. Hey, Billy. Thanks. I mean, shouldn't someone cover him? Give him a proper burial? You know, so no one sees him? The witches are dead. My soul's finally free. Damn, what a shame you're not alive. We could have gone out together. I shall always be with you. Oh, gotta love it when it packs the heart as well. Great music as well. I always did like the music in this movie. Yeah, it's all the witch's fault, darling. Blame it on them, okay? Not your brother. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about this bit. God, they dance till the break of dawn. Good on you guys. You guys remind me of my partying days. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You guys can stay up there. It's cool. <laughs> oh, love it. I wouldn't mind doing number two now, actually. The book will live forever. Love it. It is still the best. Still the best. I don't care if I sound biased when I say that. It is still the best. Okay, first off, great performances here, of course, by Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najmi. They all do such a great job over here. Absolutely love all of them. You can tell they are just having so much fun over here, acting like complete nutters. Bette Midler, as the tempered Winnie, plays her so well over here. I just absolutely love her. Such an iconic character. It's just too much fun acting so far-fetched and crazy, like the way she does. But you can tell Bette is having a blast with it. Being larger than life and eccentric and all. I always wanted to be her as a kid. I don't know why. And that's probably the one thing I never did either. I never dressed up as them, which I always wanted to. I swear I'm gonna do it one day. Anyone up for it? I thought the leading teens and kids did a great job here as well. Ombre Katz, Fora Burke, and Vanessa Shaw. They were all a lot of fun as well. Oh, and Doug Jones says Billy is great here as well. He has the perfect physicality for what he does over here. Yeah, he was a lot of fun as well, seeing his head going off all the time. I think my favourite scene still up until this very day is when they go into the supposed devil's house and the wife gets all jealous of Sarah dancing with her husband. Yeah, that killed me. Thou shalt not speak like that to Master in such manner. The thing that I noticed a fair bit in the movie was how well it plays with its comedy elements. But then coming to the end, it becomes fairly serious as well. So I appreciate that it could balance its comedy and its action very well. I put a spell on you. I thought they did a great job of making the witches fly and make it look seamless and everything. Especially when they fly off from the house and the roof explodes. Yeah, I thought they did a great job with all of that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It always works best when they use all types of movie magic tricks like animatronics, special effects and visual effects combined together. That way it makes it look completely seamless. 
and I thought it was done great over here, including Thackeray Binks as the talking cat. He looked fantastic as well. And as a kid, I always wanted to be in the Sanderson sisters' house. I thought their house was the coolest creepy looking thing ever. I still want to check it out as an adult. This is the end now, I feel it. We are doomed. I feel the icy breath of death upon my neck. Absolutely love how much of the Halloween essence there is in this movie as well. Children everywhere celebrating, all dressed up, going trick-or-treating, jumping from house to house, the adults going to a night party and all. Yeah, the Halloween spirit was alive and well in this movie, which made it all the more fun. <gasps> oh boy. The magic is fantastic in this movie as well. I always did want to do magic after watching this movie. I smell children. Absolutely love Bette Midler's version of I Put A Spell On You. That's a timeless classic for me. One of the best Halloween tracks as well. I mean, Bette Midler is already a great singer, of course. So she does a phenomenal job singing that. All in all, this is the Halloween movie for me that I could just watch over and over again. It is honestly perfect in every way. It's magical, wicked fun, great performances, and it packs a lot of heart as well. The best. Be right back. Just gonna go get my vacuum cleaner for a flying session with Mary. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one as well. I hope you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. What worked for you, what didn't work for you. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you all next time. Take care and have a spectacular spooky season.